A new study analyzing tobacco use versus vaping use in recent years shows tobacco use steadily declining as vaping quickly becomes more popular. Carry X5's Adrian Thomas is standing by live at a tobacco shop in Grand Junction with more details. Adrian? Shelby, this recent study finds Colorado saw a 15% decrease in tobacco use over a 10 year period, and in just a two year period, an 8% increase in vape use. The study comes from Quote Wizard Insurance News. The owner here at uh, Rem's Tobacco Shop uh, in Grand Junction tells me despite this trend, business remains pretty steady. Folks we spoke with in the tobacco industry and the health insurance industry say the sudden rise of vaping poses an unpredictable future. You can't find many vaping products at Rim's Tobacco Shop in Grand Junction, mostly imported cigars and bulk loose tobacco. The owner says despite recent trends of decreased tobacco use, business remains strong. As, as far as our, our core sales, we mostly sell pipes and tobaccos, it stays pretty steady. Lucas Benson says his products fall under a niche market and the vaping boom hasn't impacted his store. It hasn't affected us all that much because we have a saying about pipes and cigars are a hobby where cigarettes are a habit. An employee at a vape and tobacco shop down the street from REM says his cigarette and tobacco sales remain steady, but vaping sales are higher. You know, it seems like we get probably a mix of both. I would say a lot of people probably come in here for the vaping um, products. The fast rise in vaping use and decrease in tobacco use poses new obstacles to the health insurance market. That's according to one health insurance agent here in Grand Junction we spoke with. He says, though, this varies state by state. In the state of Colorado, uh, there is no uh, surcharge for tobacco use at all. Under the Affordable Care Act, health insurance premiums in other states can increase by up to 50% for folks who say they use tobacco. But vaping products are currently not included in this surcharge. Randy Pfeiffer feels given the recent issues surrounding vaping, things could change in his business. The only thing that poses to the health insurance industry is the potential for uh, increased types of treatments, uh, certainly based on uh, uh, recent months and uh, in the past couple of years of all the incidents of, uh, of people being hospitalized, particularly younger folks. Randy Pfeiffer also tells me even though right now vaping is not included in a determining health insurance premiums, it is included with tobacco when determining life insurance premiums. And we'll of course keep following the impact of vaping both um, on public health and the tobacco industry. First on the Western Slope and reporting live on 12th Street, I'm Adrian Thomas, KREX 5 News.